We're here at the Screen on the Green during the world's biggest build-up to one of the huge film events, the Cannes Film Festival. But surprisingly, we're here to talk about wine. I'm here with Gerard Basset, world champion sommelier and the only person to ever simultaneously hold Master of Wine, Master Sommelier and the MBA Wine Honours. I am in the presence of a wine god. <laughs> Now we're going to be talking about the hot films coming out this year and I think lots of people that are passionate about films are quite often very passionate about the wine that they drink as well. So how can we think about matching wine with our film choices? Where would we start? I think uh, French wines are like film. You have different style, like you would have a, a film with a bit authentic and natural, let's say. Another one could be more cool and laid back. You could have some glamorous and chic or quirky and fun-loving. Well, I would say that you've mentioned many of the attributes of those A-list stars out there. Now, one of the films that we're going to be talking an awful lot about at the Cannes Film Festival will be Only God Forgives, and that stars the delicious Ryan Gosling. Now, this is for those dark action film lovers, but we all know Ryan to be, well, handsome, with those lovely clean lines. So where would we start when we're choosing a wine to suit Ryan? Well, I think Ryan is the epitome of authentic and natural. So for him, I would go for perhaps of choice of two wine. Um, maybe we'll go to a Southwest, something like a Cower, if you like red wine, or nice. powerful, beautiful, firm. Or if you prefer something more on the white side, I would take you to the Loire, something like a Puy Fumé, very crisp, very fresh, beautiful, aromatic wine. I liked it, as particularly the firm comment. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me a wonderful visual. The film also stars Kristen Scott Thomas, who, well, for me, is the epitome of British and French glamour with that real classic edge as well. Mm. So how would you go about choosing a wine? Well, I couldn't Kristen? agree more with you. She's very glamorous and chic. So I think the style there would be um, really a, a wine, like maybe an Alsace Grand Cru, maybe something like a Riesling beautiful, very mineral, mm. delicious wine. Or could go to Burgundy, and uh, there I would serve you uh, a premier cru, I think maybe like a Chambol Musigny. Or why not a Bordeaux, a first growth? I think she deserves it. Well, if there's any lady out there that deserves a Bordeaux, it's got to be her. Steven Soderbergh's Behind the Candelabra is the next film we're going to be talking about. Now, this is a biopic of Liberace, so a big, big film, very glamorous, very glitzy, and starring Michael Douglas. It's set in the 70s, and I would have thought there'd be some quite obvious choices to go with this one. I think the other style would be more uh, quirky and fun-loving, something a bit different from the Jura, you know, this small area, but they produce some wonderful wine. Um, vin jaune, a very nutty, quite rich, dry, superb. Or we could go to a Beaujolais Cru, something like a Fleury, Chirouble, Chenasse. So many of these uh, delicious red wine would just glide on the palate. Sticking with the glitz and the glamour, we've got the huge film, The Great Gatsby, which I'm personally really looking forward to. Now that stars Leonardo DiCaprio and all fans of Leo out there, I think would agree, when you think of him as an actor, you think cool and you think laid back. So where would we go in terms of wine when it comes to Leonardo? I think you said it, the French style there would be cool and laid back. And I would go to the Languedoc, a wonderful area, producing some delicious wine. And maybe I would choose a red wine like a, a Fougère or Saint Chignon, or perhaps one of the vins de France, maybe a, a varietal like a Merlot, a Cabernet Sauvignon. I think that would be ideal for Leonardo. Lastly, let's talk about The Immigrant, which stars Joaquin Phoenix and French actress Marion Cotillard. So what wines do you think would best suit those two stars? I think Different there. We have Joachim, so quite cool and laid back. And perhaps there I would go for a Côte du Rhône village. A wine, you know, not too heavy, uh, you know, smell of herbs, uh, face of tannin, beautiful red wine. And for um, Madame Cotilla, I would go for a rosé de Provence, authentic, um, a beautiful, she's very French, so we need to give her something, a lovely wine. And I love Rosé de Provence, beautiful colour, lightly fruity, delicious to drink in Cannes. 
sold. Yeah. Gerard, thank you so much. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to putting all of that to the test. Thank <music> you.